save our planet. Canadian researchers predict eliminating CO2 today won't halt climate change. Using computer modeling, researchers at the University of Calgary and the University of Victoria in Canada evaluated the effects on the environment if carbon dioxide or CO2 emissions were reduced to zero by 2010 and by 2100, and predicted the result going out to the year 3000. To the researchers' surprise, the modeling indicated that climate change will continue warming the atmosphere for a long time even without any further emissions. As a result, disasters are inevitable, including a 30% drying out of parts of North Africa. In addition, the heat spread could raise deep ocean temperatures by as much as 5 degrees, causing the eventual collapse of the massive western Antarctic ice sheet and a consequent several meter sea level rise. University of Calgary geography professor Sean Marshall stated, Even if we change behavior and totally change society, we're still in store for a lot of bad scenarios. However, he pointed out that despite the long-term effect of present-day CO2 emissions, it is still necessary to mitigate them, and that by doing so, some of the damaging effects, such as Arctic sea ice loss, could be slowed or even reversed. The study reinforces other research, such as that done by Dr. David Archer at the University of Chicago, USA, which finds that because CO2 has such a long atmospheric lifetime, those reductions alone will not succeed in reversing climate change. As a result, a small but growing number of climate experts and organizations, such as the Climate Institute and the Arctic Council, are calling for policies to focus on reducing methane, ground-level ozone, and black carbon, all of which dissipate from the atmosphere much more quickly. Professor Marshall, Dr. Archer, and colleagues, we appreciate your work in further revealing the complexities of climate change and the threats we face even with a complete elimination of CO2 today. We look forward to humanity's adoption of fast-acting solutions to save lives and our Earth. During a March 2009 video conference in California, USA, Supreme Master Ching Hai explained another factor besides carbon dioxide and global warming that could help to cool the planet. Climate scientists are telling us more and more that if we reduce the livestock industry, we reduce methane. And that is the most immediate way to cool the planet because the CO2 from fossil fuel may take tens of thousands of years to leave the atmosphere and cool the planet, according to the research. But methane is hotter than CO2 and dissipate uh, average uh, over 10 years or 20 years. The latest report from uh, IPCC scientist Dr. Kirk Smith in USA said that uh, methane could be 60 to 100 times hotter than CO2 average over 20 years. So if methane is reduced, the warming will be reduced immediately. So the way we reduce the methane is by reducing animal agriculture. We have to change to a vegetarian diet, animal-free diet. <laughs>